So here's the A part of De Troy Burn. Make sure you have those F levers engaged because we are in E minor, which is the relative minor of G. So we're going to start with that fourth finger on G, and, and then we're going to go A, B, so three in a row, and then the thumb goes all the way up to E. And it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two. Okay, so it's... Now you're going to th drop the thumb down one string to D, skip the A, uh, sorry, skip the C, and we're going to go down to B, A, G. Okay, so, so far we have starting on G, three in a row, then up to E. Drop that thumb down one, skip a string, and three in a row. Now you have three in a row starting on A. down to B and A, okay. and then we're going to keep moving forward, then A again, so second finger on A, third finger on G, and now we have three in a row starting on G, and we're going to go B to A, fourth finger goes down, I'm sorry, we go to G, and fourth finger goes down to E. Okay, so let's do that all again, so again we start Fourth finger on G, three in a row, thumb up to E. Drop the thumb down one string to D, skip C, three in a row. And that third finger goes back to A, and now we have three in a row. And now we're down to B and A. And then you can drop the second finger down onto A, third finger onto G. Thumb on B, second finger on A. So you have three in a row. Then fourth finger goes down to E. Okay. 
We're going to continue moving forward, and basically the second half of the A is pretty much the same, almost the same. It starts the same. So we start again with those three fingers, the fourth finger starting on G, thumb up to E. Dropping that thumb down to D again, skipping C, then three in a row. Now, here's where it changes. That fourth finger is going to go to B, and we'll have four fingers in a row up to E. And then we're going to play an octave from E down to E. And then here, we're going to have the thumb on B. Three in a row, skip the F down to E. And then the E a second time. So the second half of the A starts like the first half of the A. So the fourth finger starts on G, three in a row, thumb up to E. Drop the thumb down to D, and then skip the C, three in a row. Now fourth finger goes all the way up to B, and we have four in a row. We're going to do an octave here from E to E. Thumb goes to B, three in a row, skip, and then down to E. Okay, so let's play the entire A together. Again, we're going to start with um, that fourth finger on G, three in a row, up to E. Drop down to D, skip three in a row. Three in a row from A. B and A. A, G, A. Three in a row from B. And then down to E. We start it all over again. Fourth finger on G. Three in a row. Drop down to D. Three, uh, skip three in a row. Now fourth finger to C and we have four in a row up to E. Octave stretch. E to E. Thumb goes to B. Now we have three in a row. Skip down to E. play it again. This time I'm going to count for us. Okay, one count of three to get us in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Here is the B part of the Troy burn. We're going to start up on this high G with our third finger. So we have three in a row, G, A, B. And so we're going to play G, A, B. And now we're going to drop that second finger back to A, but the third finger is going to go to F sharp. And the thumb goes to G. And now we're outlining basically a G major chord here. So G, D, B, G. So that bit again. <coughs> so again, we start with that third finger on that high G, three in a row up to B. Second finger goes back to A while the third finger drops down to F. Thumb is on G. Now we have that G chord that we're going to outline here, G, D, B, G. Moving on, we put that third finger on A, three in a row. Second finger goes back to B, thumb goes back to C, and now we have three in a row again. Okay, so it's basically up and down between the A and the C. So A, B, C, B, and then C, B, A. So last time. Sorry, had the count wrong. And now we're going to go to A and G. And now we've got the B, 
three in a row and fourth finger drops down to E like it did before okay so that much again again starting up on that high G three in a row now we have two and a skip outline that G major chord third finger goes to A three in a row back down okay and now we go to A and G so thumb on B three in a row fourth finger down to E moving forward so the next part of this uh, B section is exactly well it starts the same as the first part of the B section so again we start with that third finger on G three in a row now we have two and then we skip down to F thumb goes to G and again we outline that G major chord now here's where it changes but it's actually the same as the end of the A part so we're going to start with four fingers with that fourth finger on B and now four in a row up to E that octave stretch down to E thumb goes to B three in a row fourth finger down to E So the second half of the first part of the so the B is in two parts because the second ending is different. Um, so the second uh, half of the B part starts the same. So three in a row starting on G. Now we have two and a skip down to F. And that G major chord. Now we have the ending of the A part which starts fourth finger on B, four in a row octave stretch thumb to B, three in a row down to G E, sorry okay so let's play the first part of the B part all together okay so that's the first uh, 16 bars I think it is so we start here we go and I'll count us out one two three one two three one two and three one two three one and two and three one two and three one two and three one two and three one two three one and two and up again and one two three one two and three one two three one and two and three four fingers one two and three octave one two three one two three one and two and three and one two three okay that's the first part of the B the second part of the B starts exactly the same so we have the starting on that high G with three in a row down to F G chord now we're starting on with that three fingers starting on A that's all the same this is the same A to G now from B three in a row down to E okay. so that's the same as the first B now now here's where it changes okay so we're gonna have uh, we're going to do four in a row so it starts actually it's almost the same as part of the A part so we start with that fourth finger on G three in a row thumb up to E drop the thumb down to D skip the C three in a row fourth finger goes to B we have four in a row up to E octave stretch thumb to B and now three in a row down and then down to E So the second half of the B part, from the beginning of the second half of the B part, again we start with that uh, third finger on G. One, two, three, one, two, and three. One, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. 
now we go with that four, four fingers, uh, three in a row, starting from G. One, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, one. Okay, so now we're going to play the B part um, from the very, very beginning of the B to the very, very ending of the B. Okay, so again, we start those three fingers on that high G, third finger on that high G. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. And one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. And one, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, and one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, two, three, one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. And one, two, three. Here are the chords for the A section. We're going to start with E minor. So we have E minor. We're going to stay on E minor. Now we're going to go to A minor. A minor, A minor, E minor, sorry. Now we're going to go to C. Now we're going to go to G. And then D, E minor. Stay on E minor. Here we're going to go to C. We could stay on E minor if we wanted to, but C is nice. Walk us down, B minor, A minor, and then E minor. Okay, now you have, uh, and I'll, always there's always options, but those are the chords that I'm using, and when you repeat the A, it would be the same. Here are the chords for the B part. Um, now they can change a lot. So if it changes chords in mid uh, within the measure, you can stay on the first chord if you want. If the chord changes are too much, but I'm going to show you all the chord changes that I used. Here we go. Again, we're going to start with E minor, D, and then G. We we'll stay on G, A minor, E minor. Minor, B minor, C. We we'll go back to E minor, D, G. Let's stay on G. E minor, C, B minor, A minor, E minor. Back at the top with the E minor, D, G, stay on G, A minor, E minor, A minor, B minor, C. Now we're E minor, D, C. Now 
Now, you may not like that C here. If you don't, you can use, I think, a G, but I like the C because it gives it a little kind of a funky feel. G.